Hi there, it's almost again, and today I want to talk about, you know, a little bit why, why did this whole cake arc happen? Why, why did Oda diverge us from the original path, which was Kaido in Wano? Now I did a previous video talking about Wano Kuni, and you know what I thought might happen. Now I want to talk about why whole cake happened and why it without it it. The, sto the the story in Kaido, what happens in Wano, would does not will not make sense. First of all, let's dive into a little bit of uh, Sanji's backstory and you know why it's important. You know what I think is that maybe Sanji's backstory is has some kind of significance in the future. And uh, you may think you might be saying, no shit, shut up. We know that. But you know, hear me out, you know, hear me, calm down, calm down, man, Just get, see, sit down, sit down. Now, what I was thinking was this, that Sanji's backstory is important because we know what Sanji is or possibly can be, you know, because his brother, his uh, siblings have the, uh, you know, the steel armor or something like that, you know, it might be that he's a late bloomer and that, and that he might get the powers, right, and that might help. Luffy and the gang later on, you know, defeating way difficult uh, opponents, which is imperative because you know they're gonna be very difficult uh, challenges like Kaido does now. Now, if you remember at the end of uh, chapter 903, I hope this is not a spoiler. I mean, it's been a little while since it came out. I think about a week or so, and uh, so yeah, yeah, chill, chill. If you think this is spoiler, I don't know how. To, I'm not, I'm just, you know, new with, with this editing, I don't know how to edit it in, but, you know, chill. So now, that suit might be, like, you know, yellowish, it might be, like, his uh, siblings, and, uh, you know, it, it might protect him some kind of body armor, and he can use that effectively against the, his opponents, and that might boost his uh, power. You know, because, you know, you just, like, for example, Frank, you know, for the Frankie, he had the uh, cola machine, and actually he already had that, you know, all those general Frankie and all those other things that he added to his body to make himself more stronger, even though he has no idea how to do hockey. He got beaten the crap out of him by Luffy, Sanji, and Zoro back in Water 7. So, you know, the guy didn't really, well, you know, he didn't, like, train but he what he did was you know he used his mind you know here up here to create weaponry like you know something like well something like you know iron man iron man versus maybe uh not dark strange maybe like superman you know superman born with that stuff but iron man makes his body coat and everything and now what i want to also talk about here is that how about <clears throat> about Big Mom, you know why? 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 Why was Big Mom's territory chosen? You know, could because uh, <coughs> cause, um, because of the island type of ship, whatever the hell hell is called, I, I, don't, I can't remember. You know, but you know, it could have the whole thing could have happened there too. Why was Big Mom's place the whole cake island used? Right. What I thought maybe was because something might happen with Big Mom later on. And she might just, you know, appear like this. And we're going to be like, what? What is she doing? How is this happening? This is weird. I think whole cake was to show people that, you know, this is what Big Mom's capable of. Because, oh, my hair. Uh, you know, because cause it's the opposite yeah. So, uh, Big Mom is what, what she came up because, you know, when she went nuts after uh, that thing, uh, the cake, she went nuts, you know, she basically took 40 years of her, one of her son's life, but he's somehow alive. Uh, you know, how crazy can she can be when she, when she, uh, she wants something, right? And that could be how uh, maybe over some kind of redstone or, or some kind of, or the you know, one piece, she might be like that in her rage and you know we have like a sample of that now it could be also because whatever right? <sighs> i have some notes here just 
you know, because I can't remember all this stuff. Uh, you know, and I also all I wrote is I don't think that it might, you know, just uh, just uh, not reiterate, but what could happen is that maybe pudding or katakuri may be important to the story, and they might do something that is that helps the gang. And if if this arc didn't happen, and you just saw that, you'd be like, why are they helping Luffy? They should. They're, they're children of Big Bomb. We, we, from all of this, we can figure out that Big Bomb does not give a damn about her children. She will kill them if she goes on a rampage. So you can see, you know, you know, you know. You can see how loony she is. But, you know, she is strong. You know. I wonder if she ever, if she's going to ever find out what happened to her family. You know, um, Mother Caramel and her siblings and her siblings or friends, whatever you want to call them, you know, that she basically sucked the life out of them. That's what I think happened. You know, but moving on, what I think is now, <clears throat> another reason why this order might have done this is the impact of this arc, Big Mom's arc, on the whole picture. Right now, what happened is that you know at the end of 903, his bounty goes from 500 million to 1.5 billion, barely, which is like Japanese yen, so it's like 1.5 million. So 1.5 billion looks sounds much, much, much awesome. Then 1.5 million, right? Mm, me too. Now, what, 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 what might, how, what might have, what? Calm down, calm down. What might be the reason for this is because now Luffy is perceived as like a Yonko, even though uh, Blackbeard does not think of him as such yet. But you know, he's strong, and you know, they said that you know, he beat Big Mom or something like that, and he beat like Karakuri 1 billion, 2 1 or 1 billion, and 1 800 million. And you know, they're like, you know, Luffy is a big. Mountain, he's very important. His strength is very much, and he is the force to be reckoned with. He is the number one in the worst generation. So, watch out for him, Yonkos. And he's touted as the fifth Yonko, like the fifth Yonko, right? And when he faces Kaido, they might see it as a Yonko versus a Yonko, and you know. That might that could be a because th that could be one of the reasons why it's much bigger than Marineford because it was Yonko, a very old Yonko versus basically the Marines, right? Now it's a sh like Yonkos that are like fully healthy and the fighter and that might be a crazy storm because I mean you know there could be a chance that maybe you know even Dragon shows up. And tries to help Luffy, but I think that's very unlikely. But you know, anything happened. You know, maybe Dragon hears about this and stuff like that. And, you know, you know he's like, you know, here's a chance. On top of that, maybe uh, where the hell did Dragon run off to? From uh, from that place he was at. I can't remember the name of it, but you know, he didn't possibly go on. He didn't go on to one because we would know about it. Well, maybe we wouldn't, maybe he's there, you know, maybe he's there, maybe he's close by, right? and he sees that Luffy's coming and all of them are coming to battle, maybe he comes and joins them and helps them, right? Maybe, uh, you know, the reverie, we don't really know where the Bono is, really, the reverie is happening right now, right? so, you know, they could, because now is the best Best time for Luffy to make a, you know, he had a logo, but like, like all the heads of the world join together in one place, and if they, oh, Luffy, Monkey D, Luffy has defeated the Yonko Kaido, that's gonna be a much bigger impact. With now everyone, whether someone might, someone might you know, like a far away that might not care about it, right? Well, everyone gets the post, but. It would just be a, like a better, better, better spectacle, and it might show that the world government has zero power over the Yonko. Zero. 
nothing. They cannot stop these individuals. I mean, Big Mom is stupid, like crazy. She, she's strong, but she's stupid too. Well, not stupid, but like crazy. Mm. Kaguya has some kind of loony bin type of things too. Shanks seems all right. You know, we all you know Blackbeard's crazy. He's not crazy in the sense that um, there might be something wrong with. I know there's something wrong with the structures. The structure is different. Uh, you know, I'm I am literally diverging into something else. Yeah, I digress. I digress. This. Um, so you know, well, basically, you know, that's what I was talking to talk about. Uh, you know, I might make an. I'm gonna make a new. You know, a couple of videos about Kaido talking about Kaido and uh, about him, more about him. You know, what we should be, we should expect from him, and you know, analyzing the upcoming chapters and you know, trying to see if what if they predict something might happen with Kaido. You know, the reverie and the one arc gonna be are they gonna happen simultaneously? Will we go back and forth between them? Like chapter each chapter, like for example, one chapter is in Kaido, one is the reverie. Will it be like reverie first? And then Kaido's arc, you know, um, we really don't know at this point. My guess is that maybe the reverie happens before, right? And then Wanokuni happens. Or, no, actually, you know, what if, is, what if reverie is a bad trend? And the water arc has already ended, and then someone's like, you remember when Doflamingo was defeated, and someone ran to the Marijoa, and then you know you see all the girls say, and then a Kainu, uh, Sakazuki, or Kainu, whatever you want to call it, a reaction like crazy, like, what, right? So now you know when they're, as they're all about it, and this guy comes in, and like, oh no, Kaido has been killed, Bell, me. Yeah, it killed because you know Doflamingo said that there's more than one way to defeat a stronger opponent. So he might, you know, that 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 prophecy might come true now. Now, what he comes in, look, okay, whatever, defeated or whatever, kill. Just that I came up. Sorry about that. Yeah, but um, it's too late right now. That's why. Uh, but what might happen is that oh no, Luffy has defeated the Beast Pirates, Kaido. Right, and and then the tower was like, "The fool! What do we do?" Right, they're, they're all freaking nuts. They 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 became entirely angry, and you know they might. And the admirals after him, and if they send the admirals after him, that might be interesting, you know. On that note, let's end this video. It's getting about around 13 minutes. You know, thank you for listening to my rant. I hope it wasn't that boring. I hope you learned something. I hope, you know, I want to see what you guys think. And, you know, just, just, you know, post your comments down below. And, you know, whatever theories you might have, you know, I'll read them. And uh, let's see if I can include them in my next video. You know, this is Hamas. Uh... Saying goodbye for now. Goodbye, bye.